Hello everyone, welcome to my mirror. I know, I know, I usually don't comment these things and I don't do any introduction, I just mirror the videos and that's it. This is a special case. I decided to mirror one of Sarcastic Barman's videos and I also decided, with his permission, to sanitize it. Let's put it this way. I hope you enjoy it. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I am the Sarcastic Barman and welcome to my channel. F oh, it's been a long weekend. It's been a really, really long weekend. It's been hot, it's been busy, we've had a mini beer festival here in the pub and Jesus Christ, I'm glad it's over. Roll on next year's beer festival though because I did really enjoy it but God, I was knackered by the end of it all. But here we are now. We're here to make some more YouTube videos. We're here to take the piss out of these people who still think the earth is flat and other stupidly moronic fucking things. And it seems there's been a flood of fucking videos, Facebook and all sorts this last fucking week. What's everyone playing at? I go away for a bit and there's fucking videos everywhere. So we're going to tackle the fucking gigantor himself, Phuket Word, who has... Three fab proofs that the earth is flat. Okay. Let's have a look at this shit then, shall we? Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters, and debunkers. We're going to look at three fabulous videos that uh, really show us how we can see that we're on a level stationary plane. The first two are by people who have uh, realized that we are on uh, a stationary plane level earth and the third is actually by an anti-flat earther uh, a globe earth proponent but we'll see from the video what is being ignored and we'll also see the the mindset behind uh, people who wish to uh, use all kinds of observations to say that these are proof of the globe when in fact they are more like proof that uh, people will uh, ignore the things that tell us uh, we are not observing curvature. F*** my life, that was a long ass intro. But we have to let it play, let him get his feelings out there, and then tell him he's f***ing stupid, and he's basically talking about what all flat earthers do. It's like, look, I can't see this. So, yep, yeah, but if you do this, this is what that means. No, 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 it means world flat, it all flat, everything flat. No, you're a f***ing moron. But, oh, it's going to be an interesting one. I watched ahead on this little bit, and Jesus Christ, you're going to enjoy this. So we'll start off with uh, this one. This is by uh, Flat Truth, and it's a time lapse of the sunrise, and uh, it's an excellent uh, demonstration of uh, how the sun comes uh across the sky and doesn't actually come up from uh, the horizon. Uh, I'm sorry, Gigantor, did, what did you just say? And doesn't actually come up from uh, the horizon. The sun doesn't come up from the horizon. Right, okay. I told you it's going to be interesting, I forgot how stupid it was at the same time oh let, let's see why this video makes you think the sun doesn't come up from the horizon we can see here it starts to get light and uh, the sun will appear here in a minute just above these clouds it'll appear where above the clouds now hmm where the would it appear if the clouds weren't there I wonder would that be at the horizon Let's just see how stupid you're going to f***ing make this. Uh, there we go. Alright. So here, here we have the sun emerging from above this cloud line here. Uh, so we'll, we'll just watch as, as it comes up. 
and you know filters and things like that are irrelevant here what what we can see here is is that uh, before the sun came into view it was basically blocked by these clouds uh, uh, oh. you okay Vegeta yes just just an aneurysm out of sheer stupidity wow didn't think you were that stupid Vegeta ah! Hell, yes, the clouds were blocking the f***ing sun, and if the clouds hadn't been there, they wouldn't have been blocking the f***ing sun, would they? Does that mean you'd see the sun all the f***ing time? No, you f***ing wouldn't, you f***ing numpty. It would be below the f***ing horizon, wouldn't it? And it would appear from below the f***ing horizon, you f***ing wombling end. Jesus f***ing Christ, you're a f***ing sponge of the highest f***ing quality at this point. That's just the most fucking stupidly, 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 stupidly thing I think I've ever heard someone say. For fuck's sake. This is your proof for fucking flat stationary earth. Yes, the sun, look, it appeared behind these clouds. Yeah, but it's cloudy. No, no, it means that earth flat. No, it's just fucking cloudy. No, no, earth flat. You'll see, look. Now clouds all gone. Sun here. Ha ha, yeah, all good. No, the clouds have probably been dissipated. One, because of the wind. And two, because of the increase in temperature you f***ing knob for christ's sake learn some f***ing stuff this is f***ing oh oh move on let's we'll see what you've got to say else about this video and then we're going to move on to the next one of your three because if the level of proof is the same then f*** my life you are oh and it's uh it's very simple to uh explain what's happening here i'll just take it back to that point yeah it's very simple to explain it's f***ing cloudy so uh this i think is a, a view from a farm and we can see that the the clouds uh, that are close to the horizon are really not that far away uh so uh we know that we see these clouds appearing to touch the horizon simply because of perspective. The further away those clouds are, the closer they will appear to be towards the horizon. This is just uh, angular size perspective that governs. An angular size. You're really going to mention angular size when talking about the f***ing sun with a flat earth f***ing model. Now, on the flat earth model, what, the sun's supposed to be a few thousand kilometres away because that's how it works with the angles for f***ing shadows and stuff like that. So, why does it not change f***ing angular size when it goes round and round and closer and further away from us? And why doesn't it change speed as it becomes northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, increasing distance it's got to travel? It's always the same speed and it's always the same f***ing size really, isn't it? Oh dear, Mr word gigantor twat face you're an idiot now let's skip to the next one of your f***ing videos because this one's just f***ing stupid if this was a longer more more distant shot then of course that band of clouds that we can see here below the sun uh would be would get smaller and smaller and smaller and, and eventually become part of the horizon uh if you go and look at footage by um wide awake who who takes uh, lots of footage of sunsets across a, a large stretch of water we can we can see this because when you zoom in on uh, the sun that appears to be meeting uh, the horizon and, and being cut off by uh, the earth it is not actually being cut off by the earth it is simply going beyond the clouds just as we can see here but of course with greater distance those clouds have become smaller and smaller as in angular size and they just become part of the horizon so well i'm sorry i was going to skip forward but i couldn't f***ing resist that the clouds get smaller and smaller and become part of the horizon it's not as if we ever get a clear f***ing day oh dear mr f***ing world you just dig yourself a f***ing hole with this crap really don't you Angular size this, perspective that. Things get smaller when they get further away apart from the sun because that would that would um, prove my model, but it would never happen because that f***ing shit doesn't actually do like that. Oh, sh bollocks. I wasn't supposed to say that, was I? Yeah, f***ing knob. Move on to the next video.
Uh, so the next video here is uh, by an Italian gentleman uh, and his channel is Earth Measured. Well, isn't that a f***ing coincidence? Earth Measured was my actual first choice for doing a video tonight and decided not to do it because the accent was a little bit tricky in some bits and to make sure he got the words right, well, I understood the words right, it was a bit like, oh, I could f*** up here. But uh, by the look of it, we're going to kill two birds with one stone and get to knock down Phuket f***ing word and earth measured in one f***ing go. whoop de f***ing do. And in this particular video, uh, he he does it in English, which is great. Uh, it's obviously his second language. Uh, he's not a native speaker of English, but it's wonderful that this guy has uh, produced this video in English so that um, we can, he can reach a wider audience, I suppose. Well, Phuket, I'm actually going to f***ing agree with you. Well done to him for making the video in English. Yes, he appears to a wider range of uh, people. And, well, I can make a video that well in f***ing Italian because I don't speak Italian. But, yeah, you get what I mean. But, after just sitting down and watching his video, I'd love to see what Phuket thinks it means. Because uh, my response is basically at this point... I think Measured Earth should go back to making the videos in Italian so I can't take the piss out of them because, oh my god, this is in for a right royal f***ing teardown. And basically, as it says here, one degree of latitude on the globe is uh, 111 kilometres over the flat earth. So he basically explains uh, how the measurements that are made by Eratosthenes and the angles to the sun uh, work fine on a level plane and um, he also talks about how the you know the the, the changing of uh, the position of the sun uh, between uh, the tropics of Capricorn and Cancer throughout the year and how this fits in with uh, zetetic astronomy with uh, the sun doing concentric circles in a kind of pyramid throughout the year and works absolutely fine uh, oh good god that's your second choice of video Really? Really, really, really? F*** my life. Now, we'll start with the latitude thing. Why would it not work? Why would latitude on a flat Earth not work? It's simply the distance between North Pole and South Pole, whether it's curved or flat. The only problem you're going to get is the f***ing distances getting further away on the f***ing longitude. So... Yeah, I've got no problem with that. If you want to say that one degree on a flat Earth is the same as one degree on the f***ing globe Earth, what the f*** ever. The bit I have got the major problem with is the sun being from 6,600 miles away and then going down to 3,300 miles away. Is there an increase in the size of the sun considering it's just f***ing halved its f***ing distance away and in theory should almost double in f***ing size? No, there's not. I wonder the f*** why not, you idiot oh before you say these f***ing things and go let's do this let's say this do you f***ing run them through your f***ing head or you just go ha ha yeah look 6,000 miles 3,000 miles this will make our model sort of work now not that we have a working model but it'll help and then it goes like a pyramid it goes further away then it goes up and then it comes down it's like what the f*** are you on about what f***ing drugs did you f***ing take this morning before you made this f***ing video to think it was a good idea to go on the internet with people like me who are going to rip the f***ing shit out of this idea for the shitty f***ing idea that it f***ing is. There is no increase in speed. There is no increase in f***ing size. And if you dare say, oh, it does increase in f***ing um, speed, but you don't notice it because it's got more distance to cover... It just gets faster, but it looks like it's going exactly the same speed because it's going further. Then that's just f***ing stupid f***ing roundabout logic, isn't it, you f***ing knob? Oh, Jesus Christ, I need to see this for the third f***ing video because f***ing hell. I bet it's something that actually rips the shit out of the flat earth. That would amuse the f***ing life out of me. And the final one, is, this is by a guy called uh, Wolfie6020 who is a globe believer and uh, really dislikes <laughs> flat earth and uh, 
uh, as, he sees, as you can see here, he's claiming that uh, these observations of Bathurst Lighthouse strikes a flat earth another death blow. Uh, this is often the kind of rhetoric we'll hear. So I did ask for permission. Uh, Wolfie, do you give me permission to show screenshots of your video so that I can respond to your claims? And um, immediately we had a lot of his supporters jump in and, uh, you know, add say say some nasty things. Phuket, uh, you do realize that every word you say about this will just make you look more and more pathetic. Oh, f***ing dear me. So, the comment on that f***ing video got it right, really, didn't it? So you've picked a Wolfie 6020 video to f***ing prove the flat f***ing earth. Seriously. A Wolfie f***ing... Oh, good God. Oh, why would Planner Walk's f***ing dad be proving the flat earth? I mean, for fuck's sake. L let's just see what you're going to say about this, because it's f***ing... Oh, God. Etc. So a lot of damage control going on before I'd even uh, got, a, got a response from Wolfie. And here is, here is his response. Um, uh, Phuket, why bother asking now? Uh, you have used my footage many times without asking previously. Uh, use whatever you want. I don't watch your videos anyway, and there will be no response to anything you produce. I would not waste my subs time with your garbage, so knock yourself out. And uh, yeah, it goes on. I mean, it's the usual thing where um, uh, we've got this kind of rhetoric. And I did ask uh, again, uh, you know, if there's. Uh, Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. In, in this video, he claims that what the observations that are made are solely down to uh, curvature, the curvature of uh, the globe Earth, and, and we'll see why that is not true. And I did ask uh, if he wanted to add anything and stick to the claim that it was only curvature, and um, all I got was a lot of verbal abuse in return. So what, what is interesting to point out here, though, is, is the kind of... Uh, oh, just get on with it. Stop whining about the f***ing comments and get on with how this proves the globe. I mean, how it proves the flat earth in your mind, you knob. Several days later. ...by Wolfie, uh, which he says are about an 8 metre elevation above sea level from uh, this location in Perth, looking across the sea. And of course, uh, you know, what we, what we have here is a ship and, and we can't see the bottom of the ship. So this is the usual argument that the bottoms of ships disappear down a curve. Yep, boats disappear over the curve and go bottom first. Makes f***ing sense. Now, you're going to say f***ing angular f***ing resolution and all that shit in a minute, aren't you, you f***ing mutton? Nope. Give you the benefit of the doubt, you wouldn't make the same f***ing stupid argument three times in the f***ing one video, would you? Because that would just be f***ing moronic. In front of us. But uh, all you have to do is, is just look at what's actually happening here. We have this um, obvious mirroring. We, we have this uh, apparent horizon line here. And then we have mirroring of, of the, 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 the ship. Uh, that is actually just blocking the rest of the view of the ship. This is so obvious, and of course, down here, what we have is mirroring of the sky. Uh, so we just have to look, and this is a natural optical phenomenon, which we'll have a look at in a second. See, look at that, we give him the benefit of the doubt, and he did prove me wrong. He didn't say f***ing that f***ing angular crap again. He now just thinks it's a mirroring and it's blocking the bottom of the boat, even though the boat is probably a lot bigger than the top. But obviously it's mirroring the sea as well and bringing the boat down. And instead of seeing that much boat, we're seeing this much boat because of the mirror that way, even though the boat was actually that big. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's not working, is it? No. Oh, maybe he'll fix it in a minute. Let's, let's, let's listen a bit more. Uh, but this has been passed off as being caused by curvature. Uh, so let's just uh, go, go through this. And, uh, and there are more ships to the right. Oh dear, why is that happening? Uh, 
Okay, we can see exactly the same thing happening here. We, we see this ship which might appear or can be said to be disappearing down some curve, but uh, obviously it's further away, so the angular size is smaller, and we have this very obvious mirroring here between uh, this kind of vanishing line and, and the horizon line. Yes, no one is arguing the fact there is a miraging effect over f***ing bodies of water like that, refraction of the f***ing light and all that f***ing jazz. But it doesn't point out to why, if we take a photo of a building far away, we can see X top of building missing all the f***ing bottom. And if you line pictures up and go, yeah, because of the sizes, how much, far more would be below the f***ing horizon than would be accounted for by a f***ing miraging effect. Same with a lot of those boats you're going to show in this f***ing video. Now, this is why Wolfie's done it. And if you probably paid attention, you'd realise f***ing this. To use one of Wolfie's f***ing videos is just f***ing moronic at this point, isn't it? Now, let's be fair, you've shown two videos by f***ing stupid people who don't understand what they're f***ing showing or talking about that have just basically gone, yep, yeah, we're stupid. Then you've shown one by Planner Walk's f***ing dad and gone, yeah, he's stupid, but he not know that this is what it does, and it's angular, and a mirage, and optics, and no. Just f***ing no. For God's sake, Gigantor, if you weren't so tall, you would stop headbutting your head on the f***ing moon. For Christ's sake. Come back down to Earth, realise what the f***'s going on, and realise it's f***ing spinning, it's f***ing round, and the sun is f***ing 93 million miles away. For f***ing sake. I'm going to leave that here because I've f***ing had enough of this chat tonight. After a bank holiday weekend, uh, f***ing far too much work and effort I've put into this video. But I am the Sarcastic Palm and I hope you f***ing enjoyed this shit. Please leave me some comments down below what you want me to have a look at this week. I've got a couple of bits of time I can get some things done. Um, but I'm in Bristol tomorrow night. I'm going to the UK Calendar Girl Grand Finale. One of my friends has made the final so we're looking forward to having that. A few nights few nights, a few drinks, and a night away. F***ing recharge the battery. Should be f***ing awesome. Um, if you really enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you really enjoy me, buy some of my stuff. I just bought this. It's really cool. Negative number. Rider of Dinosaurs. Well worth the have. And if you really, really, really like me, join my Patreon. Um, and if you don't like me, give me a thumbs down. Give me a shitty comment. I don't mind. I like interaction. I want feedback. Feedback is good. Anyway, good night, everybody. I am the Sarcastic Barman. Hope you've enjoyed this.